Do you know that feeling where you have just prepped and cooked a delicious meal only for your kid to refuse to eat it? Steam starts shooting out your ears like a cartoon. Well, there's a way to avoid that whole drama. Welcome to Worldly Families. I'm Justine Janae. Traveling to over 40 countries and living abroad has shown me that the mainstream American way of doing things is not always the best way. I'm all about teaching you new ways of being and doing so you can live and or parent more intentionally and have more fun. In this video, we'll be talking about how to raise kids who love all kinds of foods. The first parenting around the world book I ever read, the one that got me hooked on the subject, was Parenting Without Borders by Christine Grosslow. In it, she writes about how the French and Japanese believe that teaching kids to eat is as important as teaching them to read. In fact, lunch is a class in school where children learn manners, how to serve each other, and to appreciate different foods. Around the world, breaking bread together is a special time for connection. In Italy, kids are raised with the notion of food as pleasure, and the concept of picky eating doesn't exist. U.S. Americans tend to have specialized diets, guilty, which, if you think about it, are really just adult forms of picky eating. In Parenting Without Borders, Grosslow writes, the habits children establish at a young age form their eating patterns for the rest of their lives. My good friend Jessica Flint is the CEO and founder of Recovery Warriors, a company that has helped nearly 2 million people from 183 countries recover from eating disorders. She says, mothers especially are models for the kids. If they say things like, mommy shouldn't eat this, mommy's being bad, then kids start to question whether food is moral and can develop fear, guilt, and anxiety around it. So, how can you teach your kids to be great eaters? Jessica suggests taking away the morality and restriction focus of what to avoid and instead turning mealtimes into an exploration of taste and experience. When my six-year-old Autumn was a baby, I read a book about French parenting called Bringing Up Bebe by Pamela Druckerman. Along those same lines, in it she gives a few tricks from the people who invented eating. Tip 1. The two-bite rule. Have everyone try at least two bites of everything every time it's made. We make this a rule in our house even for the adults. The reason is humans are incredibly adaptable and we can actually begin to like foods we used to hate just through exposure. Scientists have found that on average it takes 15 tries. Side note. I actually learned this in a class in college and I was determined not to hate bell peppers anymore. I've never been a huge drinker, but I purposely had a few too many drinks at a party and gorged on an entire platter of bell peppers until I got used to the taste. To this day, I like bell peppers. <laughs> My point is, you should get your kids drunk and force feed them foods they hate. Just kidding, please don't ever do that. My point actually is that it worked for me and for Autumn. She loves foods like sushi, vinaigrettes, kombucha when we let her have a little, lemon garlic mussels, and even decaf coffee. And baby Onyx, we have yet to find something he doesn't like. You just have to literally keep trying and model that behavior yourself, picky parents. Tip two, train your kids' palates. Feeding babies little bits of what the parents are eating helps them feel like part of the family while training their palate for a variety of flavors. Another tip along those lines is to feed them baby food made from veggies flavored with spices instead of fruit flavored with even more fruit. Lots of sugar. As your kids get older, do like the French do and talk to them about the experience of eating. Ask questions like, what flavors do you taste? And how do these textures combine? Tip three, limit snacking. In France, people eat three solid meals a day with no snacking in between. Maybe besides an afternoon goûter for the kids who aren't mature enough yet to hold off until dinner. This strategy helps because when kids are hungry at mealtimes, they're more likely to eat what everyone else is eating without complaint. Tip four, don't give kids so many choices. When you give too many choices, you end up making different meals for everyone. When we let our kids choose what they want to eat and then disapprove of their choices, we train them to argue with us at mealtimes over food. It's not the individualistic American way, but you end up avoiding conflict and extra work when you serve everyone the same thing. Tip five, involve your kids in meal prep. When your kids help you cook, they have buy-in to the process and are much more likely to eat what they helped make. My mom is the master of this. She grows her own herbs and will ask Autumn to go grab some parsley or cilantro or dill from outside to put in our eggs or salads. When Autumn adds the herbs, she eats the herbs. 
Finally, my own personal recommendation. Find your own balance. In our family, we stock our fridge with organic, nutrient-dense food. We have the privilege of doing that. We avoid refined sugar, flour, and vegetable oils. But we flex when we're eating socially, and we truly savor those moments of connection as part of a balanced life. I hope these tips are helpful for you and the picky eaters in your life. Please drop a comment below letting me know what resonates. And now for our special guest, Autumn. Autumn, what do you love to eat? I love to eat sushi. And what do you love to drink when we let you? Well, sometimes they have coffee, sometimes kombucha. Mm, and what do you like on your salads? Vinaigrette. And then, what else are we getting really good at eating these days? Spicy foods. Like what? Like medium and sometimes mild salsa on my tacos. <laughs> And it is Taco Tuesday today, of course. Of course. And who else is really good at eating all kinds of different foods? My brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and all of us, huh? Yeah. But See, I think mostly my brother. Yeah, my he's brother the best. Would eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> Say bye. Bye.